Welcome back today. We are joined by Dave Newman with the Hearing Connection. We're going to be talking about sudden deafness. Dave, thanks for joining us today. Well, thanks for having me. Um, what a beautiful day. It, oh my gosh, it is gorgeous out there. Uh, definitely a lovely day. And I think this topic is quite interesting and important to talk about. We're talking about sudden deafness. And Dave, you've noticed that people experience sudden deafness and it becomes an issue because they don't address it right away. That is correct. So I probably see at least one or two cases of people that have had sudden deafness and they're in my office to get treated for hearing aids because they have they, they woke up one morning um, and noticed that one of their ears, typically sudden deafness does not affect both ears. It can, but mostly it doesn't. Usually affects one ear. Usually happens between the ages of 40 and 50s. It, that's not always the case, but that's typical. Um, and they'll wake up and a lot of times people will think it's allergies or a cold or just something going on, you know, maybe a wax issue. So people will procrastinate seeking treatment, but if you do wake up with it, it is something that needs to be addressed fairly quickly. And I would, I, you can consider it really an emergency in the sense that if it becomes untreated um, and you don't catch it right away, you can have significant sensory neural hearing loss in, in the ear that was affected. Um, so the best way to do that would be go to an ear, nose and throat or the emergency room or your doctor and let them know what, what, uh, what has transpired and then they can kind of kind of dictate what they need to do. Right, and so we're talking, this is something that needs to be addressed right away because it can result in permanent damage to your hearing. And so if people notice this, better to be safe than sorry, what can they expect as far as treatment methods go? So really the treatment is, um, receiving treatment timely is really of the essence. And the most, most common treatment is really cortisone. And there you can do it orally or um, with shots, and really that's going to be up to the medical provider to determine what is the best. Um, but uh, definitely get medical attention. And it is, it's, it's common, but it's not common. So sometimes if you just go to a medical provider and they just say, oh, don't worry about it, call me in a few days, don't take that as you need to be an advocate for yourself just as could it be sudden deafness. And if you Google sudden deafness, you will get a lot of information on it. So it's a real thing. So if you do wake up on it or wake up with that, Google it so you kind of know the protocol and what to do um, because it is something that needs to be addressed. And Dave, you are a hearing professional. Are you someone someone can go to if they notice this? So that is, I am a hearing instrument specialist. That's a good question. I'm a hearing instrument specialist. So I am not a medical doctor. Um, so they would need to seek medical treatment. I would go to um, I would call your medical doctor, um, you know, and if it happens over the weekend, um, I would probably go to the emergency room. But if it happens during the week, wake up in the morning, call your, your office, call their doctor's office and see if you can get in and have an appointment. Excellent. And Dave, how can people get in contact with you over at the Hearing Connection for uh, any questions, a hearing evaluation, things like that? Um, the best way to do it is you can call me at 816-273-0074, but the best way is just to Google me, um, type in the Hearing Connection, and I'm, I'm right there. Excellent. Dave Newman, thanks again for joining us today, letting us know about this. You bet. Thank you. Of course.